Right now we're at uh, Luke chapter 18, verses 31 to 34. This is when Jesus predicted a third time his death. He took the twelve aside and said to them, Behold, which means look or take notice of this. We are going up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written through the prophets concerning the Son of Man will be completed. For he will be, he will be delivered up to the Gentiles, will be mocked, treated shamefully, and spit on. They will scourge and kill him. And on the third day, he will rise again. Okay, a few things we need to take note here. And that is, you know, some people say, oh, the, Jew, the Jews killed Jesus. That's not what he said here. He said that he would be delivered up to the Gentiles. And the Gentiles would be the ones that would have been mocking him, treating him shamefully, spinning on him, scourging him, and killing him. Although we know, you know, in context, and you know, also there were the Jewish people that were involved as well, okay? So, yeah, don't blame any particular group or individual or you know, any particular nation on, on the death of, of Christ. Uh, remember, Jesus said himself, no one takes my life from me, I lay it down on my own accord. Don't forget that. Now, again, we got to remember here, Jesus predicted, predicted his death a th again a third time. For those of you who walk close with God, I mean walking, I mean you're in the scriptures day and night. You are meditating upon the scriptures. You love God with all your heart. You obey him to the best of your ability. You go through all the commandments. You do everything you can do. You love his commandments. You love his law. This as it says in Psalm 119. You love Jesus because Jesus is the personification of the commandments, the, the Torah in the flesh. You can't love Jesus without loving the Torah because the Torah is a reflection of Jesus. As Jesus said, that all that's written there is just about me. It's just me. It's all me. If your Jesus does, is not in line with the Torah, you, you're, you're serving a fake Jesus. If your Jesus is not reflected in the Torah, you're serving, you're worshiping a golden calf Jesus. Something that looks pretty, adorns your life, adorns your church, just as pretty and beautiful and blesses everybody, but never identifies, defines, identifies, and rebukes sin. If that's the kind of Jesus you're serving, you better wake up and start serving the true Jesus, the true Jesus as we read about in the scriptures. But you see, it also says in the prophets that um, those who are very close to God, God will reveal things to them. God will, re will reveal the future to his prophets. And yes, you can be part of the group of so-called prophets of the Lord. You can have a preview of what's coming in the future. It's possible. Oh yes, it's possible. How, you might say, how can we do that? Get close to God. Every time there's a teaching of the scriptures of the word of God, get in on it. Get your mind on the word of God. Get your mind on the scriptures. Not, don't just read it. Do it. Obey it. Okay? As it says in James, if you don't obey it, what good is your faith? Your faith won't, it's dead faith. Faith without works is dead. I'm, I guarantee you, dead, rotten, stinking, dead faith is not going to get you to heaven. You're going to have to do it. That means obedience. Once you obey God, you come in line with God. You, 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 receive, you, get, you receive the Spirit of God in you. You're born again. All of the old self is gone. The new has come. You are a brand new creation in Christ. You can say the old sinful self is done away with. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live with him because I am raised with him. And you walk with the Lord in humility, in obedience, in justice. Then you can be a candidate of God showing you secrets of the future. God showing you things to come, preparing you, uh, preparing you for what is to come. And God will do that. May God have mercy on each one of us. May God have mercy on each one of us as, as we 
go about our daily lives and, and um, may God enlighten the eyes of our understanding. Pull off the blinders. Pull off the stupidity, the things that we just don't care about. And may, and may God make you a person who cares. In the name of Yeshua, be blessed as you go. Read his word, meditate on his word, and do it. Amen.